We are ending the year with a timeless video. <laughs> Honor Active's new Timeless Collection. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Ah, uh, it feels so good to be coming out with another video. I know we've been a little bit MIA this month. So needless to say, we're back at it, ready to crank out some serious videos this year. Of 2023 that is, I know, we're still in 2022 technically. But I'm forward thinking, right now I'm thinking next year, I'm in manifestation mode. Now I think this goes without saying, but Honor Active has set a really high standard ever since they launched their effort Effortless legging. I know I'm not the only one that thinks this. They really blew up ever since they launched that legging. It definitely made the list as one of my favorite leggings of 2022. So when I saw they were coming out with a brand new collection, I had to snag. I just had to. I said, this is a review that needs to happen. And I'm not gonna lie, the leggings, they're not what I expected, put it that way. We'll get into that in just a second. But first, if you are new, welcome. My name is Ashley. We do a ton of activewear reviews on this channel. We cover brands like Buff Bunny, Aloe Yoga, Alpha Elite, Gymshark, and Honor Active. All the brands we know and love, and we do take requests, so drop a comment. So if you guys remember, at the end of my last YouTube video, ironically enough, as I was filming, the timeless went live. So I actually had Bay in the background shopping while I was filming. We were really trying to snag a decent haul for you, but the pieces sold out so fast. They launched the timeless in black, deep taupe, fuchsia, mineral green, and the only one I was able to snag, what is it called? I was only able to snag some midnight. <laughs> I'm not really a cool tone kind of girl, but here I am. Now, despite this color not being my first pick, I will have to say it's still very beautiful. Midnight, oh yeah, it's pretty much a really dark navy blue with a little tinge of purple. So I did grab both of these pieces in my true size small. I also grabbed the leggings in a short length, not a long. They do offer a long, which is dope, but since I'm five foot three, I always grab their short version. I did in fact test these pieces at the gym. Wow, did I learn a lot about the leggings there. Let's start with the sports bra. Okay, so we have a high coverage, a relatively high support sports bra here. Super thick straps, overall non-adjustable, but you do have removable bra pads. Now, this is a very tonal piece. You have the 3D rubberized Honor Active logo. And if you look really close, you can see a lot of seam contour on the front. At the base of the piece is a really nice elastic band. So needless to say, this held up at the gym for me. It was very comfortable in my true size small. Here's the deal with sizing up or down if you're in between. Now, if I were to size up, I'm gonna have a lot of extra room right in the chest area. So if you're bigger in the chest area, that should be okay. There's a lot of space, a lot of room going on here. Now, if I were to size down, the downfall to that would be that the band is a little bit tight right around the arm area because again, it's not adjustable. There's no problem with the thickness of the straps laying on the shoulders. It's very comfortable. I don't feel like that would dig over time on me, but it's this area. I just feel like sizing down would run the risk of that pinch. But sizing up might give you a little extra room here depending on your bust size. Just wanna let that be known. Overall, I was very impressed by this sports bra. Not my typical go-to. I actually really like low support sports bras. I'm randomly wearing an Under Armour bra that I've had for about five years now and I just love it. Now in terms of the material, it is relatively thick. It is 78% polyester and 22% elastane. So you have a nice stretch. It does feel a bit insulating, not totally breathable. I did some shoulder presses, some side raises. This baby didn't budge. It did not move. It did not slide, slip, nothing. It stayed intact. I really suggest this sports bra, especially if you need a little more support. But as great as that sports bra was, the leggings were a completely different story. So technically, and I'm gonna use the word technically because technically on their website, it says it's a high rise. You will see in the overlap how it was definitely not a high rise on me. Not even close. It sat on me. Now mind you, I'm already somebody with a very short torso. It sat on me below the belly button. I felt my belly button ring poking out here. It sat on me like a mid rise. And I can't lie, that's not my preferred fit at all. I am a high waisted gal through and through. And if you dare try to hike it up to the point where it becomes high-waisted, you better expect the massive dreaded CT in the front to the point where it's like digging and it's uncomfortable. Now, let's talk a quick second about the backside seam. I know we're all wondering about the glutes, right? How does it look on the glutes? Like, what are we looking at? <laughs> I am not trying to talk any smack, any sh 
I don't like doing that on this channel. I just give you guys my opinion. But the back of the legging needs a lot of work, in my opinion. They call this seam on the back side the ultimate glute separation. I will say it does that. It 100% does that. It feels like a scrunch without the scrunch. Now, because it sits so low on my body, the lowest point of the V seam actually touches the top of my crack. <laughs> to put things in perspective for you. It actually sits so low that it just shrinks my glutes up and it feels like it's sliding. I'll put an overlap. When I really hike them up, it looks okay, minus the dreaded CT, but as I actually move around, twist around in it and work out, it slides. At the gym, I did do a ton of squatting, side squats, you name it. I did feel that slip. When I would be in between sets, I would be trying to hike them back up. It just didn't work. Not totally my gym legging material. I do prefer my seamless. I like things that are super breathable, but as a standard legging, if you wanna just wear something athleisurely or doing yoga, this would be it. Just minus that weird ass ass. If you're in between sizes, I have to say, if I could do it all over again, I would have probably sized up. The only risk that comes with that for me is the fact that the band isn't very compressive. So I do think it would slide a little bit more. So sizing up the band would be a little bit looser, not something I genuinely want, but I do think it would help a little bit with the overall glute space. This legging is tricky. I'm not gonna tell you whether you should size up or down. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, it depends on your preference and your measurements. This legging, if anything, reminds me so much of the Alpha Lee Alpha Lux. Very buttery soft, stretchy. This is a lot like the Alpha Lux, even the way it sits. Now, Alpha Lee's Alpha Lux has gone through a lot of changes since it first came out. It's definitely a lot better than it used to be. That's what I'm expecting here. Now, we've seen this happen before with the Effortless Legging. When they first launched, amazing. The second round of new bright colors, it was a little off. The sizing was weird. You remember that video when I couldn't even get it past my hips? Like, it wasn't the same exact material, a bit inferior compared to the first go. Since then, they changed it back to the OG. They learned. You can see the evolution here, testing out new things, seeing what works and what doesn't. I'm hoping the same thing with the timeless legging. So I think this goes without saying. The effortless legging is still number one in my book. Even though I had high hopes for timeless, it's okay. I'll just give them some time. It's just a little bit undercooked. Okay, they just need to throw it in the oven a little longer, work on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you've tried anything from the Timeless Collection, comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for being here. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. The new year, the month of January, I hope you're ready for what's to come. I can't say anything yet, but it's big. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. And happy new year.